In this video, we'll go over the answer to question 19 of the 2021 New South Wales HSC Chemistry Exam. The question states, a quantity of silver nitrate is added to 250 mils of 0.1 mole per litre potassium sulfate at 298 Kelvin in order to produce a precipitate. Silver nitrate has a molar mass of 169.9 grams per mole. What mass of silver nitrate will cause precipitation to start? This is followed by four options between 0.00510 grams and 0.854 grams. To answer this question, let's make some room and start with listing out the information we can gather. The formula for silver sulfate is Ag2SO4, as the silver has a charge of plus one and sulfate has a charge of negative two. The solubility product, Ksp, for this salt will then be equal to the silver ion concentration to the power of two, multiplied by the sulfate ion concentration. Looking at the data sheet at the back, we find that the Ksp for silver sulfate at 298 Kelvin is 1.20 times 10 to the negative 5. The formula for potassium sulfate is K2SO4. And because the ratio of sulfate to potassium sulfate is 1 to 1, this means that the sulfate concentration is 0 0.100 moles per litre, just the same as the concentration of potassium sulfate. Now, we know that the Ksp, or solubility product, is the equilibrium constant for the reversible reaction of the dissolution of a solid into a saturated solution of its ions. However, we can interpret this reversible reaction in the opposite direction as well, where it tells us when the ions would just start to form a precipitate. Therefore, if we have a solution where the product of the concentration of the silver ions squared multiplied by the concentration of the sulfate ions is equal to or greater than the Ksp value, then a precipitate of silver sulfate will form. If we want to know the point when adding just enough silver nitrate will form a precipitate, then we just set the equation to be equal. As the silver nitrate is made up of silver, we have rearranged to make the silver concentration the subject. Plugging in our values, we end up with 0.01095 moles per litre. Clearing the space, let's bring back the value we just calculated and continue with the question. Now, we can use the formula N is equal to the concentration times the volume in order to find the number of moles of silver ions we need to have in the solution. Plugging in our values for the concentration and taking note of the volume of the solution we are dealing with, we calculate that we need 0.002739 moles of silver ions. Now, we can use the formula mass is equal to the number of moles times by the molar mass in order to find the mass of silver nitrate we need. We know that the formula for silver nitrate is AgNO3, meaning there is a one-to-one -one ratio between the silver ions and silver nitrate. And therefore, the number of moles of silver ions required will also equal to the number of moles of silver nitrate required. Plugging into our formula with the number of moles the same as what we calculated previously and the molar mass obtained from the question itself, what we get in the end is 0 0.465 grams. This means that option C is the answer. To get a better understanding of what the question is asking, we can explain some of the assumed knowledge for this question and visualize what is being asked. The question is asking about silver nitrate. Silver nitrate is a highly soluble salt, and this means that a very large amount of silver nitrate can completely dissolve in pure water. We can imagine having a beaker of water and being able to dissolve a sample of silver nitrate into that water. Almost any amount we add will completely dissolve to form ions. However, in this question, we do not have pure water we have a solution of potassium sulfate. If we add silver nitrate to this solution, the sulfate ions will interact with the silver ions. Silver sulfate is a mostly insoluble salt, but there is still some small amount that can dissolve. Therefore, the whole point of this question is to find out what amount of silver nitrate, or really how small an amount of silver nitrate, must be added before the silver sulfate begins to precipitate. It is the Ksp value which tells us what concentration of silver ions we need in order to get that precipitation started, given the sulfate concentration. For this video, the following references were used. Shell and Hogan have a page dedicated to these types of precipitation questions, linking the solubility product to the ionic product, and Blackman et al. also have a section answering will a precipitate form, including a worked example. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.